So I'm back for day two at CES 2026 to go inside and see all the coolest tech we can find. Come with us. So last year, Roborock introduced the Soros Z70, which made a ton of waves because it was that little robot with the arm that could pick up socks. This year, they're introducing the Soros Rover, a robot with legs that can navigate stairs. There are uh, some robot models out there that exist from other brands that can climb stairs, but this is the first ever that can actually clean as it goes. So how does this thing actually work? There's sensors and uh, AI that's built into the technology, um, and that's what allows it to actually detect that it's running into the stairs, and then it can uh, detect the height of the stairs and the width and everything. So it's really, really smart technology that's built into all of our robots. And is this a wet clean or a carpet clean or both? It's a vacuum cleaner uh, for now. Uh, I believe it should also uh, mop, but for now it's, it, it can definitely uh, vacuum for now, and that's what we're showcasing today. Essentially, we just want to make life easier for everyone, and uh, obviously if that we can combine the most tech as possible, we definitely would consider pursuing that. Obviously, it's a working model, and that's what we wanted to showcase today. It will be available for the mass uh, market in a year or so. What's the battery life? Again, I think that's something that's going to be perfected over time. Sure. It should uh, have uh, comparable battery life as our other robots. So behind me is a company that's gone totally viral because of its robot's crazy fighting moves. Let's check out Engine AI. Now this year, we bought the two models. One is a PM. And this guy is 1.38 meter tall, okay. was uh, 24 degree of freedom, and the total weight is uh, 40 kilo. So this guy can do very um, flexible movement. This show is the money keep rolling. Oh, okay, all right. In China, people using the robots for shopping mall guided tour, for reception, answer the question. Because when you manage in 5,000 different stores, when you have employees, it's hard to train them when you have a new product. And also, robots is very attractive for the customer. Of course. Each of the store, they have a robots, more customers they want to come. I also saw it doing some other moves. Can we see, see, see some of the combinations and yeah, other stuff, no too? Yeah. He needs to put a little weight on that back foot. He's getting a little tippy. Yeah. Whoa, he's getting a little bit tippy. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little Iron Man uh, circle in the middle. That is a touch screen. Oh, we it's can, a touch screen, yeah, really? Yeah, it's a touch screen. Okay. People can program differently. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. We have seen a lot of footage of new humanoid robots fighting, and we wanted to see for ourselves with one of the most high-profile companies in the business right now, Unitree and their G1 humanoid robot. So I'm gonna try to get in there and see what it's like to fight these things myself. So Unitree has been going absolutely viral. Your stuff is everywhere. What's new this year? What are you demoing? So this year at CES, we're not only bringing the kick kickboxing robots, but also some dance moves and kung fu moves. So this year, they're learning a lot of moves from people who like the kickboxing moves. They're actually learned from professional fighters. You wanna give it a shot? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's, Let's embarrass there. myself in front of 100 people here. Let's do it. That's hard! It's hard! They're actually, like, tough! One! Two! Three! He's out. He's totally out. I was not expecting it. I was expecting it to be this silly little plasticky, like, child's fight. And it was kind of scary. What happens if somebody builds an army of these things? This is a company that lets you check your sperm count with your iPhone. Here we go. What is Intin up to here? Because you have a really loud booth that <laughs> attracts a lot of attention. Yeah, so uh, we're trying to pretty much help uh, male fertility um, in terms of uh, getting that early screening method and then going to a doctor if you do have a problem. So our device basically acts like a microscope for your smartphone. It looks like this, a little, little sperm character. Once you collect the sample on the cup or wherever, put a little drop on the lens itself. Uh -huh. You peel the sti sticker, you seal it, and then that's it. You would place it on top of your smartphone front camera, or you can take a look with your eyes. You don't yes, want to forget yes, the adhesive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't want everything like <laughs> leaking everywhere, you know. So what is beauty? We're doing uh, the first uh, end bag with an OLED screen. Just send image, send picture, texture on the bag to uh, match your outfit or just show up what you want to show. This is using Bluetooth. We pair uh, like this 
and we have an app. Obviously, the app is there to be sure we control, uh, as a brand, what the user will send there. Uh, you know, for some uh, uh, patent uh, purposes, we cannot display some image, some logo from other brands. So you don't get anything inappropriate on the purses? That's totally true. First of all, this is a bag. This is a bag. This is not a, you know, an iPad or a touchable screen. It's a bag. Enough space for women or men to store anything they need to store. We use this one, which is co leather. Hey, there you go. One. Smaller one, but uh, you know, the color of the, um, of the image is also adapted to this color. So every single uh, pattern and design will be lightly adapted to the texture of the, of the bag. You can see it's just regular bag, but flexible screen this time. So some of the screens are rigid on the larger bags, but the smaller ones have the flexible yeah, exactly. screen. The price uh, for the first uh, 300 on Kickstarter is close to $800 uh, dollar, US dollar. This is Project Matoko. There's only two of these in the world. It's a new product from Razer. It is America's first AI-enabled headphones. When I'm working out, when I'm cooking, when I'm at the airport, I always have a headset on. So we feel like it's just gonna really naturally enhance a lot of people's already everyday life. This obviously provides over the ear privacy and a little bit better audio experience. We have some far beneath the Gucci, over 30 hours of battery life. I'm gonna send you a picture of some of the ingredients that I have. Can you let me know what I'm able to make? All right, I see you've got some really nice ingredients here. With these, you can easily make a delicious pasta dish. You could do a garlicky bacon and tomato pasta with sautéed greens. And you say this also has the potential to capture video as well. Yes, absolutely. And is this recording and listening all the time, or are you triggering it when you want it to listen? Great question. Either or. So you can either have them always on, always listening, if you're gaming or working out, or you can have them off completely. You're the only product that I've seen uh, combine these things, a listening device with the camera. I don't think anybody else is doing that. They haven't. Yeah. So Razor's at the forefront. We're really excited, and we just feel like the universal compatibility, the universal form factor, it's gonna be a game changer. So this behind me is Project Ava. It's a new product from Razer that's totally blowing up right now, and it is your personal desktop AI companion for gamers. So last year we introduced Project Ava as your AI gamer companion, and it lived as a screen overlay to help you play games. But this year we've upgraded Ava's feature to be a life companion. The whole experience is powered by a single USB-C. Power and the uh, graphics are being delivered by the laptop. And in the future we're gonna have it compatible where you can just upload a photo and you can basically make your own avatar. Wow. So we're expecting to ship this by the end of the year. And what's the price point on this guy? I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, what I will say is you're not buying a computer. It's just a box. <laughs> And all the processing happens over here, so it won't be like astronomically expensive. We're super busy uh, capturing and filming content all day. Can you tell us kind of what's trending at CES right now? CES buzzing with smart glasses, wild robots folding laundry, slim gaming laptops, and AI everywhere. Total chaos. My buddies and I are getting ready to jump into a couple rounds of Battlefield 6. Can you tell me a little bit more about this gun and how I'd want to kit it out? L1110's a beast, LMG. Slap on recoil muzzle, vertical grip, light barrel, movement laser, and one two times optic for strafe beam mastery. So it's not enough for you to keep your plants alive by yourself. You need extra motivation. How about a game baked into your plant care regimen? So we have our first uh, gamified plant scissor in the entire world. Besides providing scientific plant data through our app, we also have an entire game system built up in our hardware. So it will express its expressions uh, and tells you what the uh, what your plan actually needs. When we enter the game, we can always do like daily and weekly quests or missions. So you could just accept the mission and then afterwards when you complete the mission, you will get rewards for it. And this little character, his mission is to save his mother planet. Every time you complete a mission or you uh, accumulate like enough points, the uh, mother planet will level up. So the way it works is we have different probe sizes depending on the pot size, and these go down in the soil, and those do what? They measure different... Moisture level, the pH level here, and then the sunlight and the temperature uh, inside the small thing and in the gaming device. So are you tired of those pesky guys in the mall trying to clean your sneakers for money? Well, that's where the Clear X from Brolon comes in. It's an intelligent sneaker cleaning device for your very own home. Hello, we're the world first intelligent shoe cleaning robot. We're doing clean, dry, and sanitization all in this little 
little one machine, that's where the magic happens. Let's go like 360 to make sure what type of material is your shoes and how dirty is your shoes. The cleaning process is 15 to 30 minutes and the drying process, because we're using low temperature drying, it's going to take up to an hour. You can see we can roll around kind of like a barbecue machine. I'm kind of hungry now, that's why I mentioned that. <laughs> and also the technology we're using is called a micro nagel bubble technology. It's kind of like the bubble going to go through the material and pop inside. That's why I make sure like it's going to be very clean with just water. Boots, sneakers, regular shoes, boots. Like, you know, leathers is kind of like debatable, but it depends on you. So we want people to not throw their like shoes in the laundry machine or hire your housemate because we cannot afford it. So is this thing available now? And what's the price point? We're going to be on Kickstarter this May. So it's going to be all available for the market soon. The final product will look so much cooler. And also we do upgrading. I know, right? <laughs> the price range on Kickstarter is going to be 500 to 800. It's not bad okay. at all. It's kind of like a washing machine. That's about it. Like, ask me if you have any questions. And I think we have a winner of the 90 second elevator pitch right here. The, the winner you. of the elevator pitch. I just have ADHD, thank you. <laughs> and I didn't take my mess today. <laughs>